police officer who left a handcuffed woman in a patrol car that was then hit by an oncoming freight train. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on the judge's decision with a warning the video may be disturbing. Morgan, good morning. Wait, good morning. In this case, hinged on that bone chilling, bone chilling video and whether there was any criminal intent when Yurini Rios was left inside that patrol car as that train plowed through. <laughs> It was a heart-stopping moment caught on camera, a freight train barreling into this Colorado police car with a woman handcuffed and sitting inside. Suspect was in the vehicle that was hit by the train. 21-year-old Yoreni Rios miraculously surviving that crash. And this morning, a Colorado judge finding the female officer who placed her in that doomed car guilty of misdemeanor charges of reckless endangerment and assault. We find she did act recklessly and the guilty verdicts of those counts will enter. Officer Jordan Steinke choking back sobs as the judge handed down the verdict Friday, acquitting her of the more serious felony attempted manslaughter charge, but ruling she acted recklessly during the suspected road rage traffic stop with Rios along the set of railroad tracks last September. Where are you taking? We're taking you to the car. Watch as Steinke puts Rios in the patrol car. Take a seat. And goes on to search Rios' vehicle. Then Steinke hears the blaring train's horn. <laughs> At the heart of the trial, whether or not Steinke knew the patrol car was parked on the tracks, Steinke testifying that while she observed the railroad tracks, she did not perceive them. Her lawyer calling the incident a horrific accident. I never in a million years thought a train was going to come plowing through my seat. The judge siding with prosecutors on two of her three charges. What she did is disregard the substantial risk that was right in front of her, and disaster ensued. Rio's attorney saying the young mom spends most of her days at doctor's appointments for the extensive injuries she sustained in the crash. She's dealing with all of the physical, mental, emotional consequences of, of this incident. It's going to be an uphill battle for her for the rest of her life. She will be dealing with this, the trauma of this incident. And a legal battle continues. Rios is filing a civil complaint against the officers involved. That includes Pablo Vasquez, who's also facing misdemeanor charges in this case. As for Steinke, her sentencing is set for September 5th. And Janae, she's looking at up to two and a half years in jail.